My name is Eric Gensler. I am the uh, South Texas Regional Director of Sales for the Ultimate Concealed Carry. I'm also on their federal training team. So I go around to different gun shows in the South and also a lot of uh, law enforcement shows all around the country, training ATF, FBI, different municipalities on how to use and wear their hiding holes. The holster is sitting right here on my leg. It's connected right to my cell phone case. It looks just like this. It's pretty nice because the cell phone connects it to your belt. The holster hides the print of the gun. The holster tucks right in your pants, right behind your pocket, and grounds right to your belt right there. What really nice about it is that you can wear whatever you want. You don't have to dress around your gun. That's what a lot of people hate about carrying, is that they constantly have to go to their closet and figure what shirts they can wear and what shirts they can't wear. So the fact of the matter is that you can wear what you want and you can carry what you want with one holster. There are three main draws. The first one is your basic draw. The basic draw looks like this. You will take your right thumb, your shooting hand, for left hand it'll be your left thumb, for right hand it'll be your right thumb. You'll want to pull out your pants right on your button line, right on your zipper line. This is what we call making space, to make space for the handle of the gun. It will depend on how thick the handle is. The thinner the gun, the less space, obviously. The wider the gun, the more space. So with your right hand, right thumb, you're gonna pull out your pants, Left hand, you're going to grab the cell phone. That's your anchor to your gun. That is your lifeline. So with your left hand, you're going to take the cell phone into your left hand, pull up, pull the part down. Now you can access the handle of the weapon. The second draw is called the pocket draw. This is a little more advanced, so don't be discouraged if you don't get this one right off the bat. The pocket draw looks like this. With your hand in your pocket, you can feel where the bottom of the gun is. So my hand's going to go in my pocket. The bottom of the barrel is right there. I know that. So if anyone comes up with a knife or so on and so forth, you can just push the whole thing up to your hand. Now let me do that a little slower. From the outside, this is how it looks like. My hand will be in my pocket, hand on the bottom of the gun. I can feel where it is, and any time you draw, whether it's the basic draw or the pocket draw, you always want to suck in, doesn't matter what size you are, and lean back. This is going to clear your body out even more, making even more space for the handle of the gun to come up. So, hand in the pocket. There's the bottom of the gun. I'm sucking in, I'm leaning back, and pushing the whole thing up to my right hand. A lot of guys always ask me, hey, how do you sit down in the holster? And it's very easy. You just sit down. The holster is going to fold on your leg lying on your leg and not sticking in your belly or your back or anything like that as other holsters might do. Take your right thumb, shooting thumb, pull out your pants here, grab the holster and pull it all the way up to you. It's a little easier if you pull the holster towards this way, towards your right pocket as opposed to going straight up. If you go straight up, you're going to notice the handle is going to hit your belt and hit your belly a little bit. So I'll do it once more slowly. Seated down, take my right thumb, pull out, pull the holster up to my right hand. People ask, well, hey, you're a skinny guy that can only work for skinny guys. And it doesn't because the holster in itself sits below your bend point, below your belly. So no matter if you're a big guy, the holster is still down here out of the way. The main thing you always got to think is no matter what size you are, biggest guy in the room, mid-sized guy, small guy, always lean back and suck in on your draw. That's going to clear your body out of the way. Now, if you're a really big guy, obviously, you're going to have to go under your belly and not right here. But it's the same draw for everyone. It's just the amount of time you want to dedicate to practicing it. Anytime a 380 has a laser on the bottom, like mine does right here, I have the Crimson Trace laser. So with the Crimson Trace laser, you can't use a regular grip it. You have to use our grip it that's accommodatable with the laser. The laser grip it is cut down lower here to accommodate the laser, and then has a button right here. That way you can activate the laser and you're ready to go. If you have the Smith & Weston bodyguard, we have a special grip it for the bodyguard itself. Just like the NLCP with the laser, it's cut down lower here to accommodate the laser. But the difference of the bodyguard is, is the bodyguard's laser activation button is on the side. So what we do is make a hole on this side, as well as a hole on the back side. So that way you can wear it ambidextrously and activate the laser with your finger.